Hi everyone, I'm Robert DeLorenison, pilot, and I'm here at Marina de Campo on the island of Elba. This has been one of my most challenging approaches of the trip, and it was a VFR approach. And the approach required clearing a mountain by about 75 feet and then descending from an altitude of about 1,200 feet. And on the approach, you had to come in on a radial of 195 to runway 16, which was the favorable uh, runway based on the wind conditions at the time. The problem was you would start your descent about 1.8 nautical miles out um, at a descent rate of about 10%, which is about three times faster than most approaches. And then as I mentioned, you had to clear that mountaintop by about 68 feet and then descend. And I came in on the radial at the right uh, altitude to start the descent, cleared the mountain, but I had way too much speed. So I ended up going missed. I was about 30 knots faster than I needed to be on that descent, even though I had the gear down, the flaps down, the prop flat and throttled back. So I went missed and that took me over the beach, over the water on the bay. And it was about 200 feet up with the uh, engine full and the gear down and flaps down. So I cleaned up the plane a bit and headed out to the mouth of the bay. And once I cleared this choke point, I was able to cut around to the right and then come back at 180 degrees and go in. And I landed on the runway with less than favorable winds, basically a push from behind. But the runway was upsloping at that point as compared to downsloping on my first attempt. You can see the chart as well that uh, documents the descent rate. Pretty challenging. I've noticed since I've landed that the commercial planes are coming in as I did off the bay as opposed to over the mountain. But uh, it was pretty exciting and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Warning. Terrain. Terrain.